forest red flags. And it's kind of funny. I think I always think of Taurus as green, just kind of slow growing and earthy and sort of the opposite of a red flag. Um, but there definitely are some. I will say, I'd say Taurus red flags are going to come forward in a very predictable manner. Okay. If Taurians tend to be people who are pretty chill, more calm and, you know, lead back and like they don't, all things being equal, they tend to like commitment and like to know what to expect in their world or whatever their world looks like. They like to keep it that way. Okay. Red flags for them. So, so I forgot to mention this. So they're, they're a devoted partner on the shadow side. They can be a little dull. They can kind of get stuck in the patterns of doing the same thing over and over again. Okay. But red flags, they can be controlling. And you could have a, a Taurus who has like, let's say a moon in Sagittarius, right? So this is a really fun combination. Someone who really loves outdoors, loves play, loves like adventure, loves like getting his hands dirty, loves anything that has to do with being a part of this physical world, you know? So they're really fun and playful. A Sag makes them more adventurous, adds some fire in there. But still the Taurus, so still stubborn, still likes to be in control of his world, still likes to do it his way, right? So he'll want to do all this adventure stuff his way. So that's not necessarily a red flag per se. It becomes a red flag when they don't take any input from their partner and they're not willing to change or be open to letting someone else be in control of something, okay? Um, number two is they can be possessive and not always, not all, not all Tauruses, but like it can actually be really sweet and feel good. I have a Venus in Virgo, so I like it when my when you know my boyfriend was like, "You're my girl," you know, because that makes you feel good if you're wanting to be in a relationship, or maybe that's just me. I don't know. Um, but when they are overly possessive, like needing to be in control of what you're doing with your time, right? That's obviously a huge red flag. Um, it's like expectations as well that that they put onto you, and then they're disappointed when things don't go the way they were thinking they were supposed to go, but they never really consulted with you in the first place about the expectations, that's a red flag. Um, and then finally, money, anything attached to money. So like if they you just know that if a Taurus gives you money or loans you something or gives you a bank account or like a vehicle or something, it's not st stringless. Strings are attached. Strings and expectations are attached to that, that exchange. And that being said, there's also Tauruses can be super generous. They can be people who, um, I think of my four kids, you know, my daughter Paige, she's Taurus and she's the one, if I needed something from her, I, you know, ask her and she totally, oh yeah, of course you could, whatever, you know, she's the most kind of mellow, but at the same time, there's also this interesting thing with Taurus where they can, um, if you have a Taurus girlfriend, She'll be the one that will like steal your sweatshirts, steal your, you know, she's like the, you Taurus girlfriends are giving all the rest of us bad names. She's, or it should be the one that like will leave stuff at your place. Oh, oops, I left the la la la. Actually, that's probably more, that's more like a Scorpio thing to do or somebody more beguiling, I suppose, than a Taurus. Okay. <laughs> Taurus is in, in general, though, I'd say with a Taurus, if they're doing anything to try and control you or control your decisions or control your life in some way, that's huge, like waving red flag.